everybody, it's Ani here. Today we're reviewing another book, and I'm really excited about this one. Okay, so before anything, um, if you guys want to find me on, you know, social media, I'm on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll be putting that in the description box below. Um, if you continue want, want to continuously see me doing these book reviews or any other kind of videos, click that subscription button down there, you know, that red one. It's kind of hard to miss now. Um... As well as if you want to check out my church and their buddies, what they're doing every Sunday and Wednesday, what they're talking about every Sunday and Wednesday, I'll also put their link for their YouTube channel down below in the description box as well. I'm still taking in suggestions for your favorite book. I'm only into fiction, alright? I'm not into self-help books. I'm not into history books. It's really hard for me to actually focus on that. So, most likely, I'm not going to read it. I'm mainly fiction, mystery kind of novels. Um, fiction equals fake. That's how I figured it out as a young one. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, anyways, I did not buy this book. I got it at my local library. And I didn't realize that it was part of a trilogy. Sorry, that was my dog. Um... <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I didn't realize it was part of a trilogy. This is actually a, the second book of it. So there's the first one, there's the second one. I actually really do want to read those because in itself, this was like, there was no interference with the third or the first book. This one was a story of its own, so I really like that. But the characters and what they do is very interesting, so I definitely want to read the first and third one. But anyways, star rating right now ahead for my opinion is four out of five the reason of saying four out of five instead of five out of five is because there were some issues like um for one in the beginning on the prelog um let me just, so in the prelog it shows you know the date and everything you know june 1816 the shores of lake geneva switzerland I like that, you know, obviously, different time, different place. <sighs> if you move ahead, chapter one, nothing, it says nothing right there, and I was pretty confused, I was like, I was trying to like, catch up on whether it was still 1816 or not, so I didn't like the fact that I was kind of confused in the beginning as well, of reading this damn book. Anyways, so obvious spoiler alerts for those who want to read this. You know, just, if you want to read it, go ahead. Anyways, so, I like that there's two main characters, again, and they have, like, their little group that they trust completely. Thing is, there's the two lovers in the group, but I love that they don't make it all about them. They don't. They kind of play off of each other, Make they make a good couple and everything that's not all about, like, you know, just sex and fire and all this crap. Whew. Like, dude is an actual, he's an old detective cop guy, and she is, like, this storekeep in New Orleans. And this all, all mostly takes place in New Orleans. Um, obviously, they end up going to Switzerland because, you know, prologue. But anyway, so it all has to do with a haunted painting. They just find, like a gruesome massacre in this one home and they're trying to figure it out because there's literally like you know when if you've seen forensic shows and everything you know that if someone is gonna kill someone with like a sword or any kind of long knife there's gonna be blood splatter on them and when they're covered in blood they drip blood and so if you move from one place to another you're gonna be dripping blood you're gonna be leaving a trail with you but in this case even though there was so much blood from like five people dying there was no you know trail there was no from one place to the other kind of thing and that was the freaky part they're like what the hell's going on so later on this guy and this girl they make the connection that there's a haunted painting and someone had like just put blood into the painting like they mix blood and paint together while they're painting this thing and actually you know uh, it was so gross, but um, they actually used dead corpses or the blood of people to use in this painting. And so basically, this painting had a bunch of evil blood of murderers and stuff like that, even if they were children. They had the blood of murderers. Um, 
So obviously the painting was super evil and they're trying to like um, figure out who's the one that's activating it, why they're activating it. And it's just like this whole thing, like it literally keeps you guessing until the end end. Like until like the fifth page of the end of the book. I was astonished. Usually I can guess who it is like into the middle of the book, but this one literally up until the end I was like so that's why I give this a four out of five, but also because it was kind of confusing and it also did just you know, it just kept it going and going and going and I was like, okay, people just uh, end it already. Come on. But either way, it was amazing. I love the storyline. They kept it consistent. Um, they did drag it out a little bit, but you know, whatever. Um, but I really like this. It contains a lot of things that do happen in New Orleans. Personally, I would never visit New Orleans because it's just, there's just a lot of bad stuff there. I do... I did have to pray because I felt like it just contained a lot of like um, iffy topics for what I believe in, like voodoo and um, <clears throat> and you know that blood stuff. It's very demonic. It's very you know Satan worshipy kind of thing. It was just it was yeah it was something I needed to pray about. <laughs> I was kind of scared at night after reading this because I was afraid to look over my shoulder and see someone's face right there. So yeah, this is definitely going to creep you out. It's a definite mystery, but I love it. So if you want to have a good read, check this book out, guys. Like, I love it. Um, I'm definitely going to read the first and the third one uh, because there's definite, you know, things that weren't in here that was in the first one that kind of would probably help make more sense. So yeah, but either way, it wasn't that confusing. It was a story on its own and I loved it so if you guys want to check this out if you guys want to get it from the library get it from Amazon or whatever I definitely recommend it on the back though it says that it was $24.95 in the US so I would not pay $24 or $25 for this thing I would probably pay $8 for this that's what I'm that's my top right there that I would pay $8 for this maybe go to a Goodwill if they have this or something but I would not pay $25 for a book doesn't matter who it is so yeah but either way good book check it out if you like this kind of stuff because I'm I'm excited um I'm gonna see if I should do another Twitter poll about which um book I should read next I probably am gonna look up whether any of the books that I have here are part of a series um so yeah um, if you liked this review or whatever you want to call it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Give me your comments about it. Definitely, you know, send me a tweet on Twitter. Anything. <laughs> I'm going to go based off what, you know, you give me. I just want your feedback. So, yeah, um, that's basically it. I have three more books right here. Um, it's called The Forgotten, Dark Rites, and Deadly Fate, all by Heather Graham. I'm going to have to read all of these before the 22nd because that's when they're all due and I don't like going overdue and I don't like prolonging my, you know, keeping them. So yeah. Whew. This was fun though. Anyways. Alright. Thank you guys so much. I will see you all later.